What's up everybody, this is your Java Man, and before we get started on our first ever Factor Crab Cafe, I wanted to bring you our Brighton Vape Club. Here they share stories, tips, ideas, while they build and grow a vape community on Reddit. Check them out at reddit.com slash r slash Brighton Vape Club, or just click the link in the description below. And now, let's get started with Factor Crab Cafe. What's up everybody, this is your Java Man here with Christy Tango. Christy, what's going on? How are you this evening? I'm okay. Okay, good. Well, I just just for the Java fans, I wanted to just what kind of uh, stuff do you put on YouTube? I know you have a YouTube channel. It's just really, really random stuff. I usually kind of aim to make people laugh, but usually when people look at my videos, they're like, "What the hell did I just watch?" And I mean, that's, that's kind of cool, too, so I'll take it. Okay, okay. I, I can completely understand that. I didn't, I wanted to make YouTube videos at one point. I even have done skits in the past with one of my buddies, and I'm never going to rehash those because they were pretty bad, but, and then I decided to do the whole coffee thing because I learned I loved coffee, so, okay, cool. Well, I decided I was at work the other day, and I was like... I can't just talk randomly about coffee because I could, but that's not as fun as like a game thing. So I've got today this thing called Factor Crap Cafe. And what we've got is I've got eight questions listed right here. And I'm just going to go one at a time, go through them, and I'll just list them out. You tell me if it's fact or crap. If you get five right, you're going to get this awesome little like shiny crown over your head and you're going to look awesome and majestic and stuff. If you don't, we'll find some random hat that looks terrible on you and it'll just make you look like such a loser. So, how's that sound? Well, no, no hat looks terrible on me, so you're going to have to find one that's like really, really bad. Okay, I'll, I'll have to scour the Googles and see if we can find something, but... Alright, well, let's do this thing. First question is... Tr fact or crap, coffee was the first freeze-dried food. Crap. Crap. Now, are you sure about that? Because, I mean, I feel like, you know, when they first sent, like, monkeys into space, they were probably like, oh, we need to give them something to, you know, energize them with. Or it could have been, like, mangoes or something like that, because monkeys are like mangoes. So are you sure it's... It's crap. You gotta gotta think about that. Yes, I'm sure. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's false. It was actually the first freeze dried food. It, you know how they have instant coffee? That's freeze dried oh. coffee. Fun fact. I think that's true. I'm not a hundred percent sure. If it's not true, then I just threw crap on the crap. So, fact or crap? Coffee, when boiled down, is commonly used as fingernail paint. In Turkey. That's crap. You sure? Now, That's you crap. sure you're sure? Because you know how they have That's that Turkish coffee, and it's really strong, and I don't know, the Turks could be weird about their coffee. Just saying. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they decided one day, I want my fingers to look brown. I don't know. There's no way that you can use coffee as nail polish. There's no way. There's no way. No way. You sh Okay. No. Well, you're right. You're right. I just randomly made that up on the spot. Good job. Okay, so you're not on a roll, but you got, like, the first push towards a roll. So you've got that going for you, which is nice. Okay, factor crap. Coffee originated in China when Marco Polo ran into whoever was the dude. I think it was, like, Kublai Khan or something like that in China. Just the way you worded that question, I'm going to say it's crap. Because if you don't... I don't even know what you're saying, then it tells I, me that it's crap. I, I really should have worded that better. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, it, it is crap, it is crap. I'll, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Okay, fact or crap. There is such a thing as cat poo coffee. That is fact. I know that for a fact, that is fact. What, you've drank it? That's net. Really? Like, you, you've you given your cat coffee, and then you're like, hmm, we shall wait until it is finished, dig it out of the litter box, and dump it in the coffee maker. You've done that, really? That's, you're, you're gross. That is gross. 
I hope you know that. Well, you're right, you're right. There is this cat out in the middle of, like, the rainforest called the Civet, I think. I really wanted to buy the coffee just to see if it was any good and do, like, a review on it. But, like, they eat the coffee berries, and then they digest it, and then people decide, hey, I'm gonna dig through this cat's poo, and then make coffee out of these coffee berries they ate, which I'm like, what is wrong with you people? I, I don't know, people are gross. But that's a thing, apparently, no, 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 no. so. Hold on, let me cut you off for a second. Okay, because okay. Before, when I said it was packed, you were saying all oh, well, you're going to drink coffee berries. Okay, I was like, I'm going to drink cat poop coffee. You're going to go in the, you're going to go in the, the cat, the litter box, the blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I was going to buy it and do a review on it. So you're going to drink cat I poop. didn't say I wasn't a gross person either. I'm just saying. It, it's gross to drink cat poop coffee. I'm just willing to go that low. I have no, I mean, I have no shame in my game. There's no shame in my game. Okay, so why were you trying to shame me just a second ago? Just because I could. I, there's no reason behind it. It's just because I could. Just, just to try to do some mind games. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, okay. Fact or crap. So, the really tall dude that plays Chewbacca in Star Wars loved coffee so much... They got him his own pot during the Empire Strikes Back when they were filming that. Fact. No, no, I just threw that up randomly out of my brain because I am a nerd and I love Star Wars. Nope. So you've gotten oh. one, two, three, you right? That I know that was a really good one, wasn't it? I, I thought that was pretty good. I was like, wow, I could actually believe that. Nope, that was crap right there. So you've got three right. You need to get two out of the next three right in order to get your shiny crown of awesome. You think you got what it takes? Okay. Okay. No pressure. No. No pressure. I think they're giving me like... Okay, got it. I got this. Okay. Okay. Fact or crap. Rumor has it Coffee was discovered by a herd of goats in the 9th century when a farmer found them going crazy because they were eating the berries off of the bushes that grew coffee. Uh, um, can you ask that question again? Okay. Fact or crap? Coffee was potentially discovered by a herd of goats in the 9th century when a, their farmer, whoever was the farmer dude over them, found them going nuts because they were eating the berries that, I mean, coffee is from. That's crap. That's crap. Actually, that is a fact. I Googled it and I was like, no freaking way. Ain't no way that's a thing. But apparently that's one of the, I, somewhere someone says that that was a thing. I don't, I couldn't believe it, but you can't remember, you can't say everything on the internet, it's true. You might be right. It may have been found by some guy that was like, oh yes, I have cultivated this tree, I, or bush, or whatever it's from, and taken these berries, crushed, taken the seeds from them, roasted them, and drank them. I don't know. It could have been that, but I like the goat theory, because that's hilarious. So, so, the Google machine told you that the goat went nuts. Yes, it like they it literally said they were going crazy. No joke. That's what it said. I can't make it up. If I wish I had that good of an imagination, I made up the Star Wars one. I, that's already based off of a, a universe that's already made. Okay, well you gotta get. I don't know. I mean, maybe the uh, farmer guy decided. No, that looks good. And he started eating them and then realized, you know, what would be better if I roasted the seeds, crushed them up, and poured water through it. I don't know. Maybe he was like a genius farmer or something. Like, he was like the great, 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 super great grandfather of Einstein. I don't know. Who knows? Einstein might be related to a goat farmer. Last two. You got to get these right. No pressure, okay? 
fact or crap. Cappuccino, you know the drink cappuccino, comes from the resemblance of the clothing from the capuchin monks. The name, anyways, not like the drink itself, just the name of it. Yeah, I was wondering, because I thought you meant like... No, not the drink, like the drink isn't coming from cloth, it's an actual drink, it's not like, hey, we're drinking hemp today, that's a high drink. No, no, it's, it's just from the name. That is... Crap. Okay, final answer, I'm gonna go read just Philbin on you. Is that your final answer? Can I phone a friend? Um, I'm. I mean, if you want to, sure. I hadn't. I hadn't gotten this far in the whole uh, lifelines thing yet. So sure, go for it. <laughs> you can phone the Googles if you want to. I don't. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Google machine. Is this fact or crap? They say it's crap. They say it's crap. Okay, you're going to go, you're going to go with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, nope, that is actually true, I found that on a couple things, a couple websites. So, this is from a couple places, this isn't just from one random place that said something, something goats. It was actually a thing, apparently. So, yep, okay, okay, I'll give you double or nothing. This is like the final showdown, like, all the marbles, whatever. I'll give I'll give you this one for two points. This last one's two points, okay? Got to keep you in this. All the marbles or coffee cups or coffee beans, if you want. I don't. Sure. <laughs> okay. Fact or crap? In 1998, Starbucks made a candy corn coffee around Halloween time, and it did so horribly before Halloween even came. They took it off the shelves because it was marketed so terribly and sold so horribly. Crap. You're right! I just made that off the top of my head like a couple minutes before I even did this. That was... I tried to throw in a lot of extra details because that's what scammers like to do. And I'm not a scammer, but I figured it sounded good. <laughs> well, if you don't see, you're going to have a nice little glowing crown tiara thing over your head shining and sparkling going because you won and I'm I'm impressed because I yeah. some of that was some serious business right there so all right that was fun we'll have to uh we'll have to do that again maybe we can do a little collab on your video and act like morons I don't know spray paint spraying uh spray cheese up our nose or something because I love spray cheese and I haven't had that in a while who knows? All right. Well, I think I will wrap this up. Christy, it's been fun. If you want to check her out, she's in the little description. Do hickey below, and I'll probably put her on the screen somewhere around here. And, um, yeah, I think that'll be it. That was fun. All right. Well, have a good night.